All right, welcome to NITAX Labs. This is Radio Joe with you here again. On this video, we're going to be looking at the Ladder Grab 18. It's a new product we've got here at uh, at the labs, and it's going to allow you to make a um, dipole, you can double it, or a you know even a G5RV type dipole, um, but with our 18 gauge uh, ladder maker spreaders that allow you to build 18 gauge ladder line. Uh, this is the companion piece that will uh, be used as a center insulator. So the spread is that 600 ohms at 18 gauge. These will also be available in 14 and 12 gauge. They'll be bigger of course. And uh, same exact principle so we only have to really show you on this one. But um, I just want to show you how to put this thing together and, um, and make your die pull up. So uh, let's look at what this thing comes with here. Uh, we've got eight zip ties we've got two small pieces of heat shrink Oops, that, everything likes to roll away two large pieces of heat shrink and our two end egg insulators um, so this 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 will allow you make a complete dipole kit now if if you're building this then you've obviously uh, bought some of our ladder spreaders to make the ladder wire uh, personally I if I'm building an antenna with this I'm gonna think the whole thing out how long does my ladder line need to be how long does my antenna need to be? And I'm going to buy a piece of wire that are continuous lengths, both the ladder and the wire. That way it doesn't have to uh, splice in here. If you do have to splice it in here, these little uh, heat shrinks are made, and there's a little divot in, in the plastic here. So where you bring your wires and solder them together in there, you put that little piece of heat shrink on it, it will fit into that little divot there. So that's what that's about. I'm not going to show that today because... Um, I'm going to show this the way I would build this antenna. So we'll start with the insulators. What you want to do is you want to cut these things. You're going to take your, your 18 gauge poly stealth wire, which is what this is designed for. And the very first thing you want to do is you want to make a, uh, a 20 millimeter cut off the very end. So mark that, my tape measure here. Now, I'm learning. I'm gonna take all the wire off right away. Just just score it a little bit. And so then you go from that 20 millimeter point to where you marked that, and you want to go 190 and 200. So can make a couple little scores. Cut that out. remove section of shielding so you should end up with something that looks looks like that now, the reason I left this little plastic on the end here is because it makes it easier to get through the egg insulator this poly stealth wire being that it's copper cladded steel the ends like to go like that and splay out on you and it'll fight you going through that hole there so if you leave that little bit of plastic on the end it'll go through that hole real nice um, now one of the things you want to do here and I almost forgot is Put your heat shrink onto your wire <laughs> before you put your egg insulator onto the wire. So, so I like to forget that, and it makes it a pain in the butt. So try not to forget that, or you got to string it all the way from the other end of the wire. Um, so anyway, now we can remove the rest of this plastic from here. I like to take this and do a nice tight wrap around that area there that I opened up. Like so and then give that a little solder uh, that makes a nice strong joint if you've watched any of our other videos about putting together the ladder grabs you've probably already seen this that makes a good strong joint there and then we have our nice piece of uh, heat shrink bring that up like so our heat you can see it's all shrank down around the wire now that right in between this little spread here give that a nice push that seals up that glue type heat shrink around those conductors and makes a nice clean end so let's do the other end and then we'll take a look at how this goes together okay so now we have our ends made obviously you're gonna measure these out to whatever you require for your antenna but uh, for this application we're just um, demonstrating so we'll take a look at how this goes together here. Alright so I've I've pretend measured out my my wires here and 
made a little bend on the end so I know where I want them to, to be. And basically, this thing's just going to go together with zip ties. Really simple here. The wires fit down on the tracks. You put your bend where you want the end of your wire to be right there. And put your zip tie through. These will feed through one hole. Oh, sorry. They, you you want to come up from the bottom. Sorry. <laughs> Just made a mistake there. And go back down through the top. Like so. Okay, so we've got all our wires back in place here. Um, and we've got all our zip ties in. So now the only thing left to do is tighten these zip ties, and we have our antenna. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. Probably one of the better ways to do it is to use a zip tie gun. Uh, this will allow you to really quickly get some good tension. Turn that bad boy up, too. These, these zip ties are good zip ties. They can handle it. Um, tension them up good. That way you make sure these wires won't try and pull out or pull through. These things can hold probably over 100 pounds. I've tested them out to about 95 pounds. But if you don't have a zip tie gun, you can either use a pair of leg needle nose or I like to use diagonal pliers. Now, this takes a little bit of finesse so you don't cut through, but you can actually twist these and kind of pull on that zip tie and get it really, really tight. And then when you're done, you can cut it off. That's why I like to use the diagonal pliers. And you'll see with each twist, I don't know if you can see, but I'm actually pulling up, see the little lines and I'm pulling up more and more zip tie and tightening that thing up as it goes. So these are really, really tight um, if you don't have the uh, zip tie gun. And that's it. I mean, it seems pretty simple. You would take your, your ladder spreaders and, and build your ladder down this as the, you know, you can watch the ladder spreader video to see how that works. Then you're going to build a nice uh, antenna here fed with 600 ohm window wire, uh, not window wire, so I'm going to actual ladder wire that is actually set to the correct spread for 600 ohms at 18 gauge wire. So it'll make you a nice, efficient antenna. Hopefully, you make nice, lots of contacts. And uh, thanks for watching the video.